hey everyone welcome to my tutorial uh, video again today I'm gonna talk about how to use Monte Carlo simulation to estimate the value of pi in um, Python so uh, firstly I will describe about very uh, introductory concept of uh, estimating the value of pi here so let us consider a square of side length uh, to arbitrary unit so and then let us also consider a circle inscribed inside this square so in that case the radius of the circle would be definitely one so if r equals one then the area of circle would definitely be the pi and then the area of the square would be uh, l square which is 2 square would be 4 so from here if we uh, generate large number of points inside this square then the ratio of the number of points lying inside the circle to the number of point lying inside the square is proportional to the area of the circle to the area of the square which is given here so if that is the case then simply the ratio of the area is simply pi over 4 we can see from here and then imagine that if uh, the number of points lying inside the circle is m and then number of points lying inside the whole square is m then in that case uh, we can simply I rewrite this expression in terms of this so rearranging this uh, equation simply gives the value of pi here so here if we find the ratio of the number of points lying inside the circle and then the number of point inside the square and if we multiply that by 4 then we can get the value of pi here so that's the very fundamental concept of estimating pi using Monte Carlo simulation. As I told earlier that Monte Carlo simulation involves generating large number of random numbers uh, and then selecting those values whether they lie inside the circle or within the uh, square itself gives us the value of pi. So how do we do that? So first we generate large number of points within this square that may lie only in the square i mean somewhere here or inside the circle as well so the first step would be to generate the number of points inside this and then the next step check whether the point lie inside the circle or outside the circle but still within the square so we can do that by checking the distance let's say we have one random point that lies somewhere here then we can find the distance from this point to the origin that will define my r and if that r is actually less than our value 1 then that should lie inside the circle definitely but if the r let's say if a point lies somewhere here then in that case the distance from here to the origin would definitely be greater than the actual radius of the circle itself so in that case we define that point as outside of the circle which means within the square but outside the circle so the first step definitely pick a random point inside this and then find the distance of that point from the origin using this formula this, simply this is the distance formula and then check whether that particular point uh, the distance is less than our actual radius of the circle or not if that's less than the radius of the circle then that would lie inside that point lie inside the circle otherwise outside the circle 
so that and then now next after finding out the number of points which lie inside the circle and then outside the circle we can simply get the ratio and multiply by 4 to get the uh, value of pi so that's the basic algorithm for uh, estimating now let's do it in the python so in order to do that you know the mathematics i generally import a package called numpy so let me import that let import numpy as the shortcut np and then our second step would be to generate a very large number of point inside this so in both the directions since i'm doing the 2d x and then y so i will define large number of random numbers so in order to do that okay first how many number of points i want to generate is given by this yan which is also the total number of points so let me initially let me try with 100,000 points yes 100,000 points it's time I want to command it so total number of points generated so that's the how many number of points we want to generate so we want to uh, generate along the x and then y but here so for before generating let me initialize x and y as the entire array and then so since i have yet i want to generate a number of points so let me start a loop where i can generate x and y for all those uh yeah number of points so for i in range yen so that simply gives me uh do the same thing for uh 100 uh, thousand times that what it means inside the loop so first okay generate a random number right so i can do that by using numpy which is yenp i took as the shortcut uh, and then random dot uniform so i want to generate the random number between minus one to one as i said earlier so our, this is our uh, center and then it extends from minus one to one that's my x similarly minus one to one along the y direction so that's along the x but i want to so this gives me one value of the x but i want to store this value at, in, in the name of variable x i want to collect that so in order to do that what i can do is append this value so in the variable x so i do it as the x dot append inside this parenthesis that will append the value of random number each time it runs inside this loop similarly i can do this for y uh okay uh, yanp dot random dot uniform and in the range from minus one to one so this simply gives me y and y okay if i run it it takes a little bit of amount of time depending upon how many number of points i want to generate so okay the first step is done now let's go to the second step so now we actually want to count the number of points which lie inside the circle so in order to do that yeah we need to find the distance of that particular point and then check if that is less than or equal to one okay so and then if it's less than or equal to one then that particular point lies inside the circle so again so to do that let's initialize our value as zero so initially we don't have any point inside the uh, circle so now let's 
check its values of x and y so again just like what i did in the loop before for i in range here i i can simply write i already know that i have n number of points so for all the n number of points i have values of x and y so i can simply write n here only if n and the total number of points along x and y are equal otherwise this will give me the error so i can do that just simply n and that should work or i can also do that uh, just to make sure i can also do length of x so yes n and length of x should be equal as i told earlier so this is simply giving me the same or i can use length of y as well so which is given by yal e n inside the parenthesis okay that and i have x and y so i want to calculate r right so this from this formula is simply uh square root of x square plus y square right so yan p dot yas q r t gives me the square root and whatever value inside this parenthesis this gives me the square root here i want to define x square plus y square the x square is given by uh, x double asterisk 2 plus y square is given by y double asterisk 2 but I have one problem with this one here so my x and y I have large number of x and y here so I want to select for this inside the loop for any i of that particular uh, range i want to choose particular value of x and then particular value of y and then calculate the distance so to choose a particular value for this i index i need to put a square bracket i here that gives me the ith x value and then square bracket i square bracket close that gives me the y uh, sorry ith y value so ith x value and then y value and calculate the distance from the origin and now check if this r is less than or equal or equal to one so to do that okay let me put if r is less than or equal to one in that case my m should be equal to plus one that what that means is okay first it calculates the distance if that's less than one that should lie inside the circle right so initially i don't have any point in inside the circle but if this points are less than or equal to one i should have one uh, point inside the circle right so if it finds that point this yum value of yum will be uh, added as plus one so whatever it has value here after finding this this simply adds one to that value initial value and then this is called counter in python so whenever this condition is true uh, one is added into the initial value and that keeps doing for all the values of i here for the range of this total number so now this should give me the value of uh, a value of the m okay let me try that yes so i can check how many points are there inside the circle just by printing yum it should give me just one okay here uh only one value is inside that all right okay uh, 
so that gives me the yam value and then the next step would be to okay i don't want that so i'll delete this so now uh let's find out the value of pi as the next algorithm would be to find the ratio and then multiply by four to get the va value of pi okay let me define pi calculated as the variable which should be four times yum over yum okay so that's pi calculated i want to print it print okay so while printing you need to keep the uh comma sorry the inverted comma like this and whatever you write inside this will be printed so i'll write value of pi equals and then my value of pi is pi calculated okay so let's run this and then the value is this one so what i did okay maybe i should put the plus before this and yes so value is very i i did the uh wrong here uh, so the plus one should be added right before the equal or you can also do other way as well so my current value of yum should be previous value of yum plus one this will also give me the same uh value let, let me check it yes so yeah this is same way of writing yum uh plus equals one this this is the short form of whatever i wrote before okay so that's uh, that's how we can get the value of pi so here we just got 3.1392 and let's compare this with the true value of pi so i can import true value of pi from the package called scipy so from scipy uh, dot constants import pi so this is my true value and then right here uh by uh error okay equals by which is the true value i obtained from cyber package and then pi calculated that should give me the error if i want to get in terms of percentage then okay put it inside the bracket and then uh, divide by the whatever you, you can do either way I will use the standard value pi and then times 100 that should give me the percentage and let's print that uh, as print inside that percentage error and then we can write simply write uh, pi uh, that's what we calculated right so here this is our 0.07 percentage of the error we got from uh, this method so we can increase the value of uh, points we generate here inside this and then that should uh, improve my value but it's gonna take a little bit amount of time because I have uh, done the loop in separate uh, code so that that is causing me a little bit delay I can do both the process within the same loop that actually uh, results uh, calculation time about by half of the original time so okay let's try so here now we got 0.1% okay so pretty close to the true value and very small percentage error so yes like I said this is the statistical method of estimation so it highly depends upon how many number of points you generate inside that um, square so that's one way of estimating the value of pi 
So uh, here I'm using uh, two different loops, so that is also causing me a little bit more amount of time. Uh, there, yeah, I, I, I want to show you a good method of doing Python programming uh, for this one uh, because this is a very basic stuff. But what we can do is so we can define two or three functions and then call those functions in our main program, and we can very easily do the uh, calculation. So I can show you the example of that. Okay, let's try. Uh, def so first uh, generate the coordinates x and y so I will write a function which uh, generates the coordinates x and y for me so I will name that as the coordinate generator and then whenever I give uh, how many number of coordinates I want this should give me the coordinate so uh, le let's exactly do same thing here but inside the bl blueprint uh, as the function so here okay let me copy exact same thing okay so we need to uh, give emphasis on the indentation as well otherwise that will give me the error so like I said whenever I give how many number of points I want to generate it, it just uh, first initializes the value of x and y and then for that particular uh, number uh, it gives me the random numbers for x and y in, in the interval so whenever I call this I want to get x and y so to do that I need to return x and y so that that's what it does but whenever writing a function it's better to comment this one so yeah uh, a function which generate Input it's simply number yen number of points to be generated and then returns x comma x comma y okay so that's my blueprint of one function let me write another one too another function which actually gives me or calculates the distance from the origin so this I will write it as the distance formula which when give uh, when we give the value of x and y it gives me the distance from the origin okay let me write again as the doc string calculates the distance from the origin distance of point from the origin okay again input x comma y and then returns oh my bad returns distance which it will be d okay so that's the doc string which actually gives me the information about the function Alright, let's write the function. So I have x and y. 
and I, I want to calculate the distance right so distance is exactly what I did before NP dot sqrt which gives me the square root of x square plus y square and then whenever I call this it should return d so that's uh, another and then one more thing right so we want to calculate the value of pi so yeah we need counter we need counter uh, to find out the value of m so let's write a function for that one too so I will write this as the name in the name counter so whenever I give the the x comma y then it should give me the uh, number of points which lie inside the dots so again write the information as the dog string counts the number of point lying inside the circle okay input yux input yux okay let me format it well yux and array this is not a single value okay so this should be array with n number of uh, yux values so an array with n number of uh, points in between minus one to one which is actually generated by using this coordinates and vector that's x and then y same so i don't want to write that multiple times so i'll copy it okay and then uh, it returns returns what does it return it returns number of points lying inside the circle yeah which is number of points inside the circle all right so that okay so this is the information about the function so let's do that uh, let's actually write the code which actually counts so again very similar to what I did here but that will be a little bit different so uh, yeah not too much different okay so that's why I'm copying it alright so indentation think about indentation so it should be somewhere after here so okay after you type this if you enter press enter then that's the the wherever the cursor is that is the place where your spacing should be while writing the code inside that function okay yeah so again I already uh, described this initialize the function sorry initialize the counter value which is zero initially and then at the range of total number of x values or you can write y values as well same thing so we already did this so we don't want to uh, do the square root we just call the distance formula here if we just uh, call this function it will give me the distance so if I write this but since I'm doing it only for the ith value so I should write the ith value of x and then ith value of y because I, I already told you that x and y are the array with a uh, n number of uh, points inside it so we want to select the ith value all right so that's my distance which is calculated using this 
so I can simply call this uh, distance formula and then the input arguments like that so now again if that's less than one less than or equal to one then I can do that yeah so that's my counter and then I will return em so this will give me the number of points lying inside the circle all right so I think now we pretty much have all the uh, functions which actually calculates the <coughs> required uh, values after that so now we can simply use this formula this formula to calculate the pi value here all right let's do that so let's run it now this is just my blueprint I need to call that all right so first my coordinate will be given by this so so far I haven't uh, done any of the calculation okay I'm just writing a blueprint so my X and Y will be given by this but I need to define yen here so I will define yen equals let's say 100 and why I wrote x comma y because uh, this function returns two values the first x and then the second y so that and then now I have the coordinate right now what I want to do is I don't want to call this distance formula because I wrote this just to calculate the distance which is used inside this counter so I don't need to call this again because that is called within the blueprint itself so no need to worry about that now I have the x and y coordinate and then find out the coordinate uh, find out the point lying inside the that particular uh, circle so yum should be call this very simple right okay so call this now this should give me the point lying inside the circle and if you define pi as 4 times the value of yum divided by yum that should give me the pi if you print sorry if you print pi then you can get the value 3.24 I just used so now I can vary the value of yarn and then it should give me the value of pi depending upon let's check let's check different values of yarn and then the value of thing so if we increase the value this keeps changing because I told you this is completely a statistical value so large number means more time for calculation yeah so this should take a little bit more amount because it has a large number of points right so okay I think it's pretty much it so initially I for the beginners I just uh, try to explain in a very simple term and then for a little bit advanced and then those who want to uh, write code in a very organized way this is how they should do it make sure that I just want to uh, give one emphasis that whenever you write a function so write a function only to perform one particular task if you see it so in, uh, to generate the code in it I use this to calculate the distance I wrote another one so this actually helps you uh, to find out the errors and then box when you have a very long type of calculation because separate definition will be very easy to uh, go back and then see all right okay so summarizing value of pi can be easily approximated using the Monte Carlo uh, statistical method and the formula is very simple 
you just generate large number of points inside of um, square and then inside the circle and then separate those points and just uh, put the value here and you can simply get the value of pi thank you so much for watching this video i'm sorry that this is a little bit uh lengthy but i think uh, this is helpful for you guys